What's up, YouTube Hudson Fan 15? Back with a mail day. Uh, I've got a few eBay items in, including uh, one of the best patch cards in my collection. Uh, first off, I want to give a quick shout out plug to Authentic Sports Cards. Uh, he's doing a great thing with uh, a new website that allows us to do uh, some networking. Uh, amongst the community so uh, we can see what other youtubers have up for sale and perhaps uh, when uh, maybe you have two of the s uh, same card or two similar cards uh, up you'll decide to go with the youtuber instead of just the random ebay seller and keep more money circulating in the community uh, the website is for sale the number four sale by tubers dot com so link to his video about all this will be in the description box. Uh, first off, got this for a dollar eighty four shipped. It was sent PWE, but at eighty five cents shipping, I kind of expected that. Uh, twenty nine out of two ninety nine jumbo jersey, super sweet swatch of Hudson. Um, I was having a discussion with Micah, the stemic, on the phone yesterday. Uh, not only had I not seen this card before, I didn't didn't know it existed. So when it popped up on eBay, uh, it was really early in the morning. I just dove on it because I I was floored. I, I had no idea, uh, you know, that it was even around. Uh, this is uh, 2000 uh, SPX. Uh, this is Young Stars. Uh, set. It's part, well, it's part of the main set, but it's the Young Stars. I guess you call it a, a subset. It's not an insert set, but it's within the main set. So I think that's those are called subsets. Uh, and this is the Radiance Parallel. It's like a blue tint to the uh, the SPX logo and the word Radiance. And it has this uh, kind of uh, I don't even know how to describe it. it almost looks like a leaf shape. Uh, Dufex, as Sevens would like to say, uh, design to it. Um, 16 of 100, one off the jersey number. Let me do a little tilt action so you can take it out of the sleeve. Do a little tilt action. Let's see, it's like a like a pin. There it is, kind of like a pinwheel thing going on. So. Uh, not a rookie card, a second year card, but in you know, really great shape. Uh, I don't know what it books for, don't particularly care. It came in a sleeve, a uh, penny sleeve that had $30 on it. So if that's the case, I paid you know 35% of book on it, ship. So can't hate on that. And um, before I get to what is possibly uh, one of the nastiest patch cards in my collection, I want to give a plug. Now, this is, I have no affiliation with this group. Uh, I stumbled across them because they recently posted uh, on their webpage a, uh, that, that one of my heavy metal websites that I read linked. The name of the band is Bad Rabbits. And they covered a song off the new Deftones album, Diamond Eyes, which they all rave about. And it, it's it's a, a tr basically a trippy version of the song, and it's already a trippy song. And I started listening to their music, and it sounds nothing like this cover, but I found it very catchy. And I hope I, I said I have no affiliation. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. You can download the whole seven track EP for free off of their website. Um, it's kind of a funky page to navigate, but uh, you, you can stream the songs on YouTube. If you like it, you can download the EP. Uh, Bad Rabbits is called Stick Up Kids is the name of the EP, and that's also the name of the fourth track. But this is the fifth track. Uh, it's called Girl, I'm Like Damn. I know it's completely off the map from what I usually listen to, 
but it's like like a I think they they did some work with Slick Rick very much like uh, the the singer is very much like baby like a baby version of Prince um they opened up for some like emo and hardcore bands in a show in New Jersey and once I started listening to them I re- I I kind of I remembered a friend who said that she went to a show and it was and this band stuck out like a sore thumb because they were completely different than every other band on the bill. But uh, they've got a full-length album coming out, and Chino from the Deftones is actually going to be on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But, um, so yeah, go check out Bad Rabbits. Um, I think I have more channel views than they do. Um, finally, I got this card for an absolute steal. Uh, I love it when sellers don't put the player's full names in the title because that makes it so that when I do title and description, or I just knew to search this combination of players because I have several of the patch versions of this. 2005 Prime Patches Team Materials 5 of 5 Laundry Tag Variation. Terrence Long, Ryan Ludwig, Tim Hudson. Yeah. So, Armies, I, I sent a picture message to three or four guys, and Armies' immediate reaction was, dude, is that real? And we kind of got into the philosophical debate on whether or not, uh, you know, the, the sad state of affairs that we are in that we have to question whether or not patches are real. It does say laundry tag on the card in, above all three uh, windows. Now, the question is, were all three laundry tags there in the card as they were originally out of the the pack? So, obviously, we'll never know. Um, I haven't done a lot of research to find out. I mean, it's, it's now it's a six-year-old product to find out whether or not others like it from the same subset are similar looking, but... Um, Hey, I'm going to enjoy it if I find out that it's a fake, whatever, but it's a nasty looking card. It, it doesn't show any of the usual evidence of tampering that you would expect. The memorabilia windows, there's no sort of you know bending or chipping. The card looks to be the original natural uninterrupted thickness. If you look at the side of the card... You know, some so I've seen a fake, a couple fake patch cards, and they're not the the top layer is usually interrupted in some way versus the other other layers on the card, and and this isn't. You know, it does show a little. It, it shows the about the amount of uh, uh you know small imperfections along the edge of the card. That you would expect to see on a card that's that's as old as this is, so it, it's it's you know like you know when you're trying to figure out whether or not it's an authentic you know presidential signature, well you know does it look like it's 150 years old or, or whatever it happens to be. So um, I, I got that card for like I said for steel. I thought it was phenomenal, and uh, you know hopefully you know, it, it is what I believe it should be. So. Uh, go check out Authentic Sports Cards. Uh, go check out A Bum in a Suit. Jim, he's doing his usual Thursday night breaks tonight. Uh, buddy, I'm going to make it to one of these one of these nights between how late it usually is and the fact that I have Dart League on Thursdays. Uh, I, I keep missing them, but uh, you know, Dart League only runs, I think, until April, so maybe around springtime I'll start showing up in your blog. Because I think the wife will still be doing bingo at that point. Um, yeah, and go check out Bad Rabbits. Uh, fun, irreverent. F- you know, uh, I think they call it. They they devised their own subgenre called New Crack Swing, and I think that's uh, pretty hysterical. So, <laughs> go go check them out as well. All right, YouTube, peace.